this is Wolfie and welcome back to my channel. So in today's vlog guys, ay pag-uusapan natin itong bagong labas na memo from Department of Education. Ito yung Deped Order number 35 series of 2021. So this Deped Order guys amends yung previous uh, Deped Order number 38 series of 2020 which is the guidelines authorizing payment of communication expenses of the Department of Education personnel relative to the implementation of alternative work arrangement for the year 2020. So guys, ito yung communication expenses na na-reimburse natin noong uh, 2020. If you can remember guys, nakapag-reimburse tayo ng communication expenses from the time na nag-lockdown or yung mga employees guys, we're recommended to work from home. So, from that time, guys, na reimburse yung ating uh, communication expenses until December 31, 2020. So, hinati nila ito, guys, itong deped order na to sa sham na parte. Pero ang pag-uusapan lang natin ay yung lima, guys, kasi ito lang yung pinaka-importante. Okay? So, unahin natin sa number one. Sabi dito, pursuant to the Department of Budget and Management Circular Letter Number 2021-7 issued on July 1st, 2021, this is to amend the following provisions of Deped Order Number 38, Series of 2020, titled, yun nga, Guidelines Authorizing Payment of Communication Expenses of the Department of Education personnel relative to the implementation of alternative work arrangement for the year 2020. So ito yung mga uh, amended guys na mga provisions. First, these guidelines shall cover payment through reimbursement of communication expenses, mobile and internet for those regular, casual, and or contractual employees under a work from home arrangement at the Department of Education Central Office, Reg Regional Office, Schools Division Offices. And second, this order shall take effect retroactively from January 1, 2021 until August 31st, 2021. So, ang ibig sabihin nito guys, pwede tayong magpareimburse ng communication expenses from January 1st guys until August 31 pero case to case basis yan now basahin natin yung pangatlo payment shall also be subject to availability of funds and in compliance with the criteria and processing requirements as indicated in the Department of Budget and Management Circular number 2021-7 so again Ang sabi dito guys, uh, pwede kayong magpareimburse ng yung communication expenses whether teaching or non-teaching kayo kapag may available pa kayong funds. Otherwise, hindi pwedeng i-accommodate guys. And kailangan in compliance pa rin siya sa auditing guys kasi nagsasubmit tayo ng liquidation sa division office para makita nila na may mga resibo nga or may nagastos ka nga sa communication expenses mo. So, ang mga kailangan dyan guys, uh, syempre yung voucher, yung ORS, tapos ang kailangan pa dyan, Jeff, at yung mga resibo guys. Kailangan mo yung i-attach din sa liquidation para ma-approve. So, pang-apat guys, ang sabi dito, starting July 1st, 2021, the distribution of debit connectivity load will take effect. Thus, reimbursement of communication expense shall only cover employees that are eligible to receive the connectivity load and those who are already eligible to reimburse communication expense provided in debit order number 17 series of 2019. So, ang ibig sabihin nito guys, kapag nakareceive ka na ng DepEd SIM, ito yung DepEd uh, connectivity SIM or load na binigyan nila noong July until August, hindi ka na eligible na makakuha ng reimbursement guys from July until December na po yun. Okay, otherwise, pwede kang mag para reimburse ng yung communication expenses. 
So, panglima, once connectivity load is already issued to the participants, all communication expenses indicated in activity requests or authority to conduct to be paid to participants in debit related activities from July 1st to December 31st, 2021, amounting to 50 pesos per day per pax shall not be allowed. So, ang ibig sabihin nun, guys, as what I said earlier, hindi ka na pwedeng magpa-reimburse once na kakuha ka na ng debit sim. At ito, guys, yung pang-anim natin, itakal na din natin to All debit orders, memoranda, and other related issuance, rules, regulations, and provisions which are inconsistent with this order are repealed, rescinded, or modified accordingly. So yun lamang guys ang nilalaman ng memo na to. So kung mag questions kayo, pwede nyo silang kontakin through uh, landline and email. So yan lamang for today guys. I hope na liwanagan kayo dito sa debit order na to. Thank you so much for watching my video. My name is Wolfie and see you next time guys. Goodbye.